in the complex realm of human consciousness, there is a striking convergence between the wisdom of ancient sages and the discoveries of modern physicists. Reality is not a standalone, external entity, but rather a reflection of the observer's internal state. This concept, timeless as it is found in the ancient Vedas and yet as current as in quantum mechanics, suggests that the universe acts like a vast cosmic mirror. It reflects not the world in its objective state, but as it is perceived and interpreted by us. In this domain, where perception holds sway, the individual holds the metaphorical brush of consciousness, using it to color their reality with the shades of their beliefs, thoughts, and emotion. This idea implies that our understanding of reality is subjective and deeply intertwined with our internal landscape. The universe, in this view, does not present a fixed, unchanging reality, but rather a reality that is continuously shaped and reshaped by our perceptions and interpretations. Each person, through their unique lens of consciousness, experiences a different version of reality painted with the colors of their individual psyche. This understanding aligns with the teachings of ancient philosophies, which have long posited that the external world is a reflection of the internal. Similarly, modern physics, particularly in the realm of quantum mechanics, suggests that the act of observation plays a critical role in determining the state of what is being observed. This intersection of ancient wisdom and modern science offers a profound insight into the nature of reality and our place within it. The metaphor of the observer wielding the brush of consciousness to paint their reality highlights the active role we play in creating our experiences, our beliefs, thoughts, and emotions are not passive responses to an external world. They are active ingredients in the creation of our personal reality. This realization empowers us to take control of our internal state, understanding that by doing so, we can influence the nature of our experiences. Moreover, this perspective encourages a deeper exploration of our internal world. It invites us to examine our beliefs, thoughts, and emotions, understanding their power in shaping our perception of reality. It also highlights the importance of mindfulness and self-awareness, as by becoming more conscious of our internal states, we gain greater control over the reality we create. The concept that reality is a reflection of the observer's inner world presents a powerful framework for understanding the nature of existence. It suggests that our personal reality is less about the external world and more about our interpretation of it. It empowers us as creators of our experiences and invites us to cultivate a conscious and intentional internal landscape from which a fulfilling and meaningful life can emerge. The idea of a holographic universe, a concept that finds favor with both mystics and scientists, proposes that the tangible reality we discern is essentially a projection of a more profound, underlying reality. This perspective is in line with the insights of esteemed mystics, such as Rumi, who perceived the physical world as a mere shadow play and is echoed by quantum physicists who discuss the probabilistic nature of particles. From this vantage point, the material world is perceived as a fabric crafted from strands of potential fashioned by the mechanisms of observation and interpretation. This notion suggests that what we experience as physical reality is not a definitive state of existence but rather a manifestation of deeper, invisible forces and possibilities. It implies that at the most fundamental level, the universe is not made up of solid, separate objects, but is instead a field of possibilities waiting to be realized.
The act of observation and interpretation is what gives shape and form to these possibilities, much like a weaver turning loose threads into a coherent design. In the context of a holographic universe, every piece of the universe contains information about the whole, similar to a hologram where each part contains the whole image. This implies an intrinsic interconnectedness of all things, where each element reflects and contains the essence of the entire universe. This perspective challenges the conventional view of reality as a collection of separate, isolated parts and instead proposes a more fluid, interconnected tapestry of existence. The alignment of this concept with the teachings of mystics like Rumi and the findings of quantum physics bridges the gap between spiritual wisdom and scientific understanding. It presents a unified view of reality where the spiritual notion of oneness and the scientific concept of interconnectedness converge. This convergence invites a deeper exploration of reality, encouraging us to look beyond the apparent and delve into the underlying nature of existence. This view of the universe as a holographic projection encourages a sense of wonder and exploration. It suggests that our everyday experiences are just the surface of a much deeper and more mysterious reality. This understanding can inspire us to look at the world and our experiences within it with fresh eyes, seeing them as expressions of a vast interconnected web of potentialities. The concept of a holographic universe presents a fascinating and profound way of understanding reality. It suggests that the physical world we perceive is a manifestation of deeper, unseen forces, and that our role in observation and interpretation is crucial in shaping the fabric of this reality. This perspective bridges spiritual wisdom and scientific inquiry offering a holistic view of the universe as an interconnected, dynamic tapestry of potentiality. Every situation and event we come across in life is, fundamentally, a neutral backdrop, open to the interpretations we bestow upon it. This idea is in harmony with the Buddhist teaching of emptiness, which posits that phenomena do not possess inherent meaning, but instead, the meanings are ascribed by us. This perspective serves as a potent reminder of our own creative power, encouraging us to look past mere appearances and acknowledge that beneath the surface of what we label as positive or negative, there exists an unadorned canvas of pure potential. This concept invites us to reevaluate how we perceive the world around us. It suggests that the events and circumstances in our lives are not innately good or bad, but rather they become so through the lens of our perception and interpretation. This realization opens up a realm of possibility, allowing us to view our experiences from a more empowered and flexible standpoint. Instead of being swayed by the superficial labels of situations, we can choose to see them as opportunities for growth, learning, and personal development. The notion of every experience being a neutral canvas also highlights our role as the artists of our life. Just as a painter imbues a blank canvas with color and life, we too have the ability to paint our experiences with the hues of our attitudes, beliefs, and perspectives. This artistic process is not just about painting over or disguising the nature of our experiences, but rather about understanding and harnessing their inherent neutrality to create a narrative that aligns with our aspirations and values. Furthermore, the concept of emptiness, as taught in Buddhism, emphasizes the interconnectedness of all things and the absence of a fixed, unchanging essence in phenomena. This perspective encourages us to maintain a flexible and open-minded approach to our experiences, 
recognizing that our current understanding of any situation is not absolute but subject to change as we gain new insights and perspectives. This view of life as a neutral canvas awaiting our interpretation empowers us to take control of how we perceive and interact with the world. It encourages us to move beyond a passive reaction to events, instead actively engaging with them to uncover the underlying potential each situation holds. By doing so, we not only transform our personal experiences, but also contribute to the collective experience, painting a broader picture of reality that reflects the diversity and richness of human perception and creativity. The transformative process of altering reality is intricately linked to the power of belief. This concept resonates with the poetic wisdom of William Blake, who famously stated, if the doors of perception were cleansed, everything would appear to man as it is, infinite. This profound statement underlines the pivotal role of perception in shaping our understanding of reality. Our beliefs are akin to a prism through which the light of the external world is refracted, thereby crafting the spectrum of our experienced reality. Beliefs are powerful lenses that filter and shape our interpretation of the world. They determine how we perceive events, people, and circumstances, coloring our experiences with their unique hues. The nature of these beliefs, whether limiting or empowering, significantly influences the reality we perceive and live in. When our beliefs are limiting, they act like a prism that distorts the light of reality leading to a perception that is often skewed and constricted. Conversely, empowering beliefs can clarify and expand our perception, allowing us to see a world filled with endless possibilities. By altering our beliefs, we essentially change the angle at which the prism of our perception refracts the external light. This adjustment can dramatically alter the colors and contours of our personal universe. A shift in belief can turn a world that seemed bleak and confined into one that is vibrant and boundless. For instance, adopting a belief in one's own potential can transform obstacles into opportunities and fears into stepping stones for growth. This process of changing beliefs is akin to alchemical transformation. Just as alchemists sought to transform base metals into gold, we too have the ability to transform our perceived reality by changing our internal beliefs. This transformation is not an illusion, but a profound alteration in the way we interact with and respond to the world. When we adopt beliefs that align with our aspirations and values, we open ourselves to experiences that resonate with those beliefs. William Blake's metaphor of cleansing the doors of perception serves as an impetus for us to introspect and refine the beliefs that form the core of our understanding of the world. It's an encouragement to clear away the accumulated limiting beliefs that cloud our view, preventing us from seeing the boundless potential that life has to offer. When we undertake this cleansing, our perception of reality is transformed, revealing a world that is limitless and filled with opportunities. This process of transforming our perception and, consequently, our reality is a deeply personal and introspective journey. It involves a thorough examination of the beliefs that have guided and shaped our experiences up to this point. Many of these beliefs might have been formed unconsciously, based on past experiences, societal norms, or inherited worldviews. To cleanse the doors of perception is to question these beliefs, to discern which ones serve us and which ones hold us back. Adopting new, empowering beliefs is an act of courage and resilience. It often means challenging long-held assumptions and stepping out of our comfort zones. This transformation is not just about small adjustments. It often requires a fundamental shift in how we view ourselves and the world. Such a shift 
opens up new avenues for experiencing life, leading to a more fulfilling and expansive existence. This journey of altering our beliefs and perceptions is a powerful testament to the capabilities of the human mind and spirit. It underlines the fact that we are not mere passive observers in the theater of existence, but active participants with the ability to shape our own realities. Our beliefs act as the lens through which we view the world. And by changing these lenses, we can change the world we see and experience. This alchemy of belief is not a one-time event, but a continuous process of growth and evolution. As we learn, grow, and evolve, so too do our beliefs and perceptions. This ongoing transformation is a crucial aspect of our journey through life, enabling us to continuously expand our horizons and experience the richness and depth of existence in its fullest form. Cleansing the doors of perception is about recognizing and harnessing our innate power to shape our reality. It's about moving beyond the constraints of limiting beliefs and opening ourselves up to the infinite possibilities that life offers. By doing so, we step into our role as active creators of our destiny, shaping our lives and the world around us with the power of our beliefs and perceptions. In the grand orchestra of consciousness, every individual plays a dual role, that of both the composer and the conductor, crafting and directing a distinct melody of existence. This notion finds a profound parallel in the ancient hermetic principle, as above, so below. As above, so below, as within. This axiom suggests a mirror like relationship between the internal and external realms. Our internal states, encompassing our thoughts, emotions, and beliefs, are far from being secluded experiences. They are akin to musical notes that compose the external melody of our lives, significantly influencing the rhythm and harmony of the world we experience. Our thoughts, emotions, and beliefs are like musical instruments in the orchestra of our consciousness. Each thought is like a note played by a violin, each emotion a chord from a piano, and each belief a powerful beat of a drum. Together, they create a symphony that resonates beyond our internal world, influencing the world around us. Just as a composer chooses each note carefully to create a beautiful melody, we have the power to choose our thoughts, emotions, and beliefs to create a harmonious life experience. This concept of internal states shaping our external experiences is not just a philosophical musing, but a practical guide to living. It suggests that the quality of our internal dialogue, the music we create within ourselves, directly affects the quality of our life experiences. When our internal symphony is composed of notes of love, positivity, and gratitude, the external world responds in kind, reflecting these qualities back to us in the form of enriching experiences and relationships and relationships. Similarly, the role of the conductor is crucial in this symphony. Just as a conductor directs the orchestra to bring out the best in each instrument, we have the power to direct our thoughts, emotions, and beliefs in a way that brings out the best in our lives. We can choose to focus on thoughts that uplift us, emotions that empower us, and beliefs that expand our possibilities. By doing so, we take an active role in orchestrating the melody of our existence. This orchestration is not always an easy task, just as a composer faces challenges in creating a symphony, we may face challenges in aligning our internal states with the experiences we desire. However, these challenges are an integral part of the process. They are opportunities for growth, allowing us to fine, tune our internal instruments and create even more beautiful melodies.
The hermetic principle as above, so below, as within, so without serves as a reminder of our interconnectedness with the universe. Our individual symphonies are part of a larger cosmic orchestra. Every thought we have, every emotion we feel, and every belief we hold contributes to the collective melody of human consciousness. This realization instills a sense of responsibility to create internal music that not only benefits us but also contributes positively to the collective harmony. The symphony of consciousness is an ongoing composition. It is a dynamic process where we continuously compose and conduct the melody of our existence. Through conscious awareness and choice, we can create a symphony that resonates with beauty, harmony, and positivity, not just within ourselves, but in the world around us. This is the power and responsibility that lies in being both the composer and the conductor of our lives. The profound art of co-creation lies within the power of our conscious choices. It's an acknowledgement that the meanings we attach to life's events and circumstances are not merely incidental, but rather a reflection of our internal landscapes. This idea resonates deeply with the teachings of Jesus, notably his words, according to your faith, be it unto you. This statement illuminates the transformative power of belief and faith, suggesting that our internal convictions significantly shape our external realities. In every moment of our existence, we stand at a crossroads of perception. We can perceive our experiences through various lenses, those of fear or love, scarcity or abundance, limitation or possibility. This choice is not a trivial one. It's a decisive factor in the narrative we weave throughout our lives. When we choose to view our lives through the lens of love, abundance, and possibility, we shift from being passive observers to active participants in our life stories. This active participation is not just a personal endeavor, but a cosmic one as we engage in a reciprocal relationship with the universe. The concept of co-creation emphasizes this relationship. It's a dance between our intentions, beliefs, and the universal forces at play. Our thoughts and beliefs act like magnets, attracting experiences that resonate with them. By consciously choosing beliefs that align with love, abundance, and possibility, we invite experiences that mirror these qualities into our lives. This process of co-creation is not about controlling every aspect of our lives. Such a task is impossible and likely unfulfilling. It's about setting an intention, aligning our beliefs with that intention, and then allowing the universe to orchestrate the details. It's about trust. Trust in ourselves. Trust in the universe. And trust in the unfolding of our life's narrative. In this dance of co-creation, we also recognize the fluidity of life. Our perceptions and beliefs are not static. They evolve as we grow and learn. What we believe today may shift tomorrow as we gain new insights and experiences. This fluidity is not a weakness, but a strength as it allows us to adapt and grow. It's a reminder that we are not bound by our past beliefs or experiences. Every moment presents a fresh opportunity to choose differently, to align our beliefs with the kind of world we wish to live in and the kind of life we wish to lead. Co-creation is about empowerment. It's a recognition that while we cannot control every aspect of our lives, we have significant power over the most important part, our perceptions and beliefs. By consciously choosing beliefs that serve us, we shape our experiences and, by extension, our reality. We become co-authors of our life stories, writing each chapter with intention and awareness.
This empowerment comes with responsibility. It asks us to be mindful of our thoughts and beliefs, understanding their power and shaping our lives. It encourages us to be compassionate with ourselves, recognizing that change is a process and that old beliefs may take time to transform. It also invites us to extend this compassion to others, understanding that they, too, are navigating their own co-creative processes. The art of co-creation represents a vibrant exchange between our inner beliefs and the external world. It involves a harmonization of our inner state with our external experiences, enabling us to play a proactive part in the development of our life stories. When we opt for beliefs that uplift and strengthen us, we are not only transforming our individual lives, but also contributing to the broader narrative of humanity. In this context, co-creation emerges as more than a solitary pursuit. It is a communal endeavor, as each person's story is interwoven with the grander narrative of humankind. This concept suggests that our inner beliefs are powerful drivers that shape our external experiences. Our beliefs act as filters through which we interpret the world, and they can either limit or expand our experiences. By consciously choosing empowering beliefs, we open ourselves up to a wider range of possibilities and experiences. This alignment of internal beliefs with external reality is a dynamic and ongoing process, requiring constant awareness and adaptation. The transformative impact of this alignment extends beyond our personal experiences. Each individual's beliefs and actions contribute to the collective consciousness of humanity. When we choose to engage in positive and empowering beliefs, we add to the collective energy of human progress and development. Our personal transformations, therefore, have a ripple effect, influencing the people around us and contributing to the collective growth of society. Moreover, the concept of co-creation underscores the interconnectedness of all individuals. It posits that we are not isolated beings, living independent lives, rather. We are all part of a larger, interconnected tapestry. Our stories, beliefs, and actions intertwine with those of others creating a complex and dynamic narrative of human existence. This interconnectedness means that our individual choices and beliefs have the power to influence not just our own lives, but also the lives of others. By choosing beliefs that foster positivity, growth and empowerment, we contribute to a more positive and uplifting collective and narrative. We become co-authors of a shared human story one that is continuously being written and rewritten through our collective thoughts, beliefs, and actions. In summary, the art of co-creation is about recognizing and harnessing the power of our beliefs to shape both our personal reality and the collective experience of humanity. It is a process of aligning our internal state with our external world, playing an active role in the unfolding of our life stories and understanding that our individual narratives are part of a larger human story. By consciously choosing beliefs that uplift and empower, we transform not only our own lives, but also contribute to the collective narrative and evolution of humanity.